Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, we are going to show you how to stream games using Streamlabs, uh, the desktop version, not the mobile one. Uh, so as you can see here, first thing you need to do, you, you need to have a game. And as you can see on our screen right now, this is the client for League of Legends. So technically, this is a, an open game. Uh, after that, what you want to do is, of course, have Streamlabs desktop. Just Google Streamlabs desktop and you're going to get a link to the installer very straightforward process to install the app after that you're gonna be shown this place right this the scene so w when you first begin your scene which is here right you're not gonna have anything here you'd want an audio output capture which is the the audio of the game that you're gonna play you need display capture of course so that people can see you playing the game you need an audio input capture for your microphone and then after that, you need uh, some certain things. Uh, I like to put an alert box here, just in case. Uh, after that, you need to make sure that uh, you need to go to your audio input capture. Go click on the cogwheel here. Make sure that the device that you're using is your microphone, the right one. Because if not, as you can see here, while I'm speaking, uh, it is uh, picking up my voice. So you need to do a mic check. If this is moving, that you might have to see what's up with your settings when it comes to your mic. So after that, what you want to do next is we're, we're not going to go through the whole settings yet. We're going to go open your desktop and open the um, the like the platform that you're going to stream in. So for this example, we're going to go with Kick because I'm going to show you something different. So once you have Kick, once you uh, uh, logged into Kick. What you want to do is go click on your profile icon on the upper right corner of the screen. Click on settings. So here in settings, you're going to see another settings option here. Uh, you'd want to click on the stream key. So after the stream key, what you want to do next is you're going to see uh, stream URL and the stream key. So take note of that. Going back to your uh, stream labs, what you want to do next is click on the settings. Right. In settings, what you want to do is click on stream. And here, what you want to do next is, as you can see, there is no uh, kick here. What you want to do next is click uh, Add Destination. We're going to use Kick, right? And here, we are going to get the stream URL. Clicking that, it says Copy to Clipboard. Go back to, um, that's my OBS, as you can see. Go back to um, Streamlabs paste the URL here and then here you're going to get the screen key again so you get the screen key uh, click copy again and then go back to Streamlabs and then paste the stream key and click save and now you have kick right so now that's done click done and here you're going to go back to um, the Streamlabs main interface so next thing you need to do is oh I clicked that again main thing you need to do is make sure uh, your settings, which is on the bottom right corner of the screen, uh, is up to par with your machine and your internet connection. By the way, you need to have very fast internet connection. If you have fiber, great. Uh, <clears throat> you need something very fast and very consistent. Uh, very fast internet is bad if it's not consistent, if you're having a lot of issues, lag, DC, whatnot. So make sure that your ISP is good. So once you have that, go to output here. It's going to be in simple mode like this when you first start. But what you want to do is click on simple mode. A drop down will appear and you need to select and click on advanced. So here you'd be able to play with your settings. So as you can see, it's stream recording audio replay buffer. This is kind of this is still pretty much the same as OBS Studio. Uh, we don't need to worry about these three um, <clears throat> because we are going to focus on streaming. So stream audio check is one. <clears throat> encoder now this depends if you have uh, an nvidia gpu or if uh, you you'd want an nvidia nvenc h.264 or if you have an integrated graphics system you'd want uh software which is x264 right but since we have a G an rtx gpu we're just gonna uh maintain that click on enforced streaming service encoder settings uh rate control just as always cbr bitrate since uh kick is copy of twitch 6000 is a good starting point keyframe interval some people like it too i like it zero 
Um, the preset is pretty slow or P5. Uh, you can go, you know, slower, better quality, slowest, best quality. But for this example, we just want uh, good quality, right? Unlock the power of artificial intelligence with Flicky AI. For a limited time, enjoy 10% off on their monthly plans. Revolutionize your workflow, streamline tasks, and boost productivity with Flicky AI. Don't miss out. Upgrade today and experience the future of automation. Link is on the description below. Tuning is high quality. Uh, Multipass, two passes, quarter resolution. Profile is high. Make sure that cycle visual tuning is ticked or enabled. GPU, some people like it too again, just like this one, but I like it zero. Max B frames is two. Now, after that, what you want to do next is go to your audio. Now, make sure that your audio desk uh, desktop audio device is what maybe your headphones is like what like mine here or you know a speaker so that you can hear what's going on uh and streamlabs can pick up what's going on with the audio of what you're playing after that mic slash auxiliary device number one again this is your microphone kind of like uh the audio in your output and then the rest is just going to be disabled because you don't want any additional unwanted audio or sound uh sample rate and channels are this are you don't need to change this this is perfectly good serial right Who's, who's nobody does mono right it's 2024 so after that's done you go to video now here uh you, you might be wondering well we're not recording but yeah but we're streaming so you need to make sure that your base canvas resolution and your output scaled resolution is the same to avoid any lag or any other issues now, some people might not be able to stream 1080p or 1920 by 1080. You might want to go down a notch 1280 by 720. But again, you need to make sure that that's the same here. But since we can do 920 by 1080, that's what we're going to stick with. So after that, downscale filter, you need Langsos. Uh, I think um, when you first install this, it's going to be bilinear. But you need to uh, select Langsos or sharpen uh, scaling to do test samples. FPS, common FPS values. I think it's the, it's not the the default one, but you'd want FPS values. Uh, and when it comes to FPS values, well, at least 30, but if you can, 60, so that everything is crisp. Now, again, uh, <clears throat> once it's done, click done. Uh, make sure, again, you're, you hear something, or there you go. As you can see, your headphones and your auto app coucher uh, is picking up the sound in my game as you can see if i click play it's going to sound if i click any anything else it's being picked up by streamlabs so that means you're good to go and all you need to do is go to click go live right go live make sure that you're 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 set up with uh the dashboard here in kick and you will be good to go so that's really much it that's a video hope you liked it like comment share subscribe ring that bell icon we'll see you on the next one